And I think this is the time in our country now, having seen what's happened with our regalia, having seen what's happened with the large involvement of our youth in political discourse, in standing up against policy and politics and politicians that have been negatively impactful to the country. Where do we go next? How do you change the system? Everyone will say politics is dirty. Do not get involved. But without the involvement of these young leaders that I saw, the activists that were out there, the real question is how do you now take that social movement, the call for change, and convert it into one that is impactful in our political system? How do you change what has been to something that's better? It's not going to happen overnight, but it is a fight worth committing to. And in terms of all the statements that cricketers have made over the years with various aspects, what is really needed is work and commitment and the actual mucking in and really working hands-on in that arena. I don't think I'm capable of that, but I think a lot of the youth now are. And our job is to support that and to invite that and to be a part of the journey and to do as much as we can for the country that we are from because it is a country definitely worth fighting for. It's a country that's given me everything. And I think it's, this is the time, the window of opportunity in the next six to 10 years is, is where I think that involvement must come because the doors are closing fast. And I hope that all of us, all the young leaders don't allow that door to be closed in our faces because when it does, the grind back to get that little opening for us to influence the country or for the young leaders today, the youth to influence the country to, to get it to where it can go is going to be much harder than it is now.